In this video, we're going to customize this Honda Civic Type R. Let's get into it. My name is Nikolai, and this is Joyshift. I like to film and build cool cars in Forza Horizon 5. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can always be the first one to watch new videos. We're going to learn a whole lot about cars, we're going to customize them, we're going to drive them, and just have a lot of fun with them. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. What's up, guys? So today, we're going to be customizing this Civic Type R and... I want to do a pretty interesting build on the car. You know, typically on my channel, I do like to make these cars look fairly clean, but this one, we are going to do some stuff under the hood and to the chassis that is going to really make it a little bit different than a factory Civic. So let's go ahead and start customizing it. So I do want to do an interesting color on the car as well, but let's go ahead and start off with engine conversion. So let's see what we can do as far as putting a new engine into there. So let's go ahead and hear the factory engine and then compare it to the other ones. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I mean, it definitely has that Honda sound to it. That one sounds a little bit more ricey. I think we'll probably end up leaving the stock one, but let's go ahead and hear this 1.6 liter in line four. Okay, so those are super interesting, but I do want to go ahead and leave the factory engine in there. But something interesting that we're going to go ahead and do is I do want to go ahead and all-wheel drive swap this. Now, you can actually all-wheel drive swap these cars in real life. I don't know how easy or hard it is, but I know it's definitely been done before. So I don't feel like it's out of place to actually all-wheel drive swap the Civic. Now, <laughs> give me hate for it. I know it's, it's a Civic. They're typically, you know, front-wheel drive, but I think this is going to be an interesting build. And now I do want to go ahead and toss a turbo on the car. So kind of hear it a little little bit of a little bit of uh, that turbo sound in there you know that turbo flutter kind of have that blow off valve in there so let's go ahead and toss that on there and then now let's go ahead and head over into aero so this is the type r civic but i do like the way the factory body kit looks although this is forza so we're gonna go ahead and make this look a little bit different so let's see what options we do have here so we have c west i'm not really feeling that one it almost looks too boxy to me um, I don't even know how to pronounce this one, but that's a little bit too ricey for what I want to do. This one is pretty nice, the June bumper, but the one I really like here is this charge speed bumper. I think this is the one that we need to go for. And then obviously we have our Forza, which actually doesn't look too bad. It actually looks like it fits on the car because sometimes I feel like these splitters they put on the car just don't even work. They don't even look like they're supposed to be on the car. They're really like universal fit, but let's go ahead and input the charge speed on there because I think this one looks almost like the factory one, but it's just like a little little bit better you know it's got some vent in there and then like the front lip definitely pokes out a lot more now for spoilers let's see what options we have i'm not feeling any of those the june one definitely looks pretty interesting but that's not really the look i'm going for so let's go ahead and leave the factory one on there and then let's see what we have for rear bumpers now i'm really liking this uh i don't you know what actually i don't know if i like them that much um I'm kind of looking at them. They look a little bit too ricey for what I want to do with it. So let's go ahead and leave that factory bumper and then side skirts. Let's see. We have Sea West. That actually looks really good. And then that one as well. A little bit ricey, um, but I like the charge speed here. I think this one definitely flows with the front bumper and it's going to look really nice on the Civic. So that's yeah, that already looks a lot better than the factory kit. So now let's go ahead and head over into drivetrain. So we can. Oh, I guess this already has like a good transmission and then that we can't even toss like a you know, like usually we have like a sport transmission, a race transmission, but this one we're jumping straight into it and we have just an upgraded to a seven speed, but I'm not gonna do any of that. We're gonna leave it factory. Uh, we can do the drive line, and then also for differential, we can go ahead and put a race diff into the car to help with handling. Now let's go ahead, let's do our wheels because I'm not too sure which wheels I wanna put on the car. I definitely know as far as tires, I'm gonna go ahead and put a slick tire on here because I want the car to be able to handle, but I do think I want it to be able to accelerate in a straight line very well. So let's go ahead and put some meaty tires, 235 in the front and then 245 in the rear. So now as far as the wheel style we wanna go for. Now, I do have to say, I'm a huge fan of these factory type R wheels. I think they definitely do work on the car and they do look incredible, but there's a specific style of wheel that I'm going for. And I wanna see if I can find something like that in the game. I feel like a nice set of like ZE40s would just fit the Civic so, so well. Um, these Titans do actually look really good on it, but let's see what other options. We do have the T37s, which I would love to put those on there, but I really want the ZE40s, you know, I, I wish we could have them. 
Um, we have some wheels that kind of look similar to them, but we also have these work wheels that I do like to put on a lot of cars, but let's see if we have any other options that kind of would fit to what I'm going for because the whole look is kind of like a street time attack. Oh, I don't even wanna say time attack. This is way too subtle to be time attack, but just like a nice street build on the car, but it is basically gonna be like a sleeper um, simply because of how fast this thing is gonna be because being all wheel drive swapped and we're probably gonna fully build the motor. Um, it'll be quite interesting. So I'm, let's, I'm trying to debate what we can do here because there's a lot of wheel options and I'm thinking, I'm thinking those, those Titans did really fit the look of the car. Um, what would you guys put on this car? Because there's a lot of options in Forza, but it's it becomes really difficult. And I don't want to do anything that's like too, too stancy. Uh, maybe if we were doing like a drag, drag look on the Civic, that would look pretty sick right there, but not necessarily what I want. Those are super modern. These are actually the wheels I have on my real car, which is a Toyota 86. And I think those would look sick, but they're a little bit too modern. I think looking for this car, um, we want something a little bit more timeless, I guess you could say, you know, something that's a little bit more true to this car's time frame, which it's a 97. So being a little bit older than, you know, new cars here, man, I'm really debating these or the TE 37s. I don't want to go basic, but man, those TE 37s just work. Okay. You know what? I don't care. Ugh. Wait, no, I don't want to be basic with this, but see, those look really good. Like if we blacked them out or made them like a gunmetal. Ugh, this is so difficult. You know what? The TE37s or these, I'm really not sure. This is hard, but you know what? Let's go with the TE37s. I wanted some Volks on here and I think the Volks definitely will look good. And I do want to go ahead. I'm thinking, should we even go for a 17? I think 16 will work on the car. I think that'll look good. We don't need to go bigger. I like I like to have a meaty sidewall. I think that really makes it look good. Um, as far as engine, let's go and listen to this intake. A little bit of more of an induction sound there. And then listen, listen to the exhaust and see what we can toss onto this car. Oh wow, this is actually one of the few cars I think putting a race exhaust actually makes it sound better. I'm noticing a lot of cars in this game, I don't think they sound too good. Um, once you actually upgrade the end, you know, the exhaust on here, which is interesting because you would think upgrading the exhaust would make it sound better, but some cars, it literally sounds louder. It sounds more clear. It sounds just more refined when it's the factory exhaust, but for some reason they just, I don't know, in, in some cars, they just don't sound as good, but some cars they do. And I think the Civic is one of those that sounds better. So let's go ahead and build it. I'm trying to think what horsepower number we'll get. I know we're not going to get anything too crazy because it's just a factory Civic motor in here. And I know you can build these to have a ton of power. We're going to see, I think, a respectable amount. Yeah, I think we won't be any more than like 550 here. Yeah, 541. I think that's a good amount. And then we can do our flywheel as well. So now last one, we're going to go over here and we can do the brakes. So I'm going to toss the race brakes on this car. Just fully upgrade everything. You can probably guess we're going to go ahead and toss race springs and dampers on here. Although we could do like drift springs. That would be pretty interesting. You know, if you like rear wheel drive swap the car, I'm sure this would be a pretty interesting drift car. But let's just go for the race springs. And then we are going to adjust the height because I think that the fitment on a car should be symmetrical all around. So I think the wheel gap right now, you can see there's more wheel gap in the rear than there is in the front. So I want to get that symmetrical and have it even, even if it theoretically is throwing off the car, I like to have it look like it's balanced. And, you know, I mean, it's literally by half an inch, not even, you know, as far as, you know, difference. So let's go ahead and do our anti-roll bars because I do want this car to be able to handle everything. And then roll cage, should we toss a roll cage in here? I don't think I'm really feeling that. I don't like the way that looks in the car. It does actually look pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Should we just go for this one? I, I like the clean look. I don't want to do that. We're just going to go for the sport one because that'll actually reinforce the car without, you know, actually having that visible roll bar in the car. And then for weight reduction, let's just go for the street weight reduction. I don't want to gut the car. I think that's a little bit too much. Um, we could even do sport, but let's just go for street to keep it a little bit more realistic. So two and a half thousand pounds in this little car. That's pretty crazy. So that thing looks really good. Now let's go ahead and do the color on this car because I have a pretty interesting combo. I want to try out for it. So we'll see how that looks. And then we will take the car for a drive with my wheel sim setup. And I think you guys will really enjoy that as well. So I don't want to go for a metallic color on this car, but I've really been wanting to go for like a green here i'm thinking this right here let's see what other options we could think of see i don't like these like weird greens um but i do like that Ooh, or do i like that one more this is a hard one they're kind of the same shade 
um, but I think I like this one right here and hear me out we're gonna go ahead and put this green on the car and then for our brake calipers we're gonna go ahead and make these yellow and I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be quite an interesting color combo I, I think yellow brake calipers is definitely one of my favorite color for brake calipers so I think that right there works um, we'll have it a little bit brighter so you can actually see them but I think that right there looks phenomenal. And then we're for the wheels, I'm pretty sure that's like a matte black right there. And that matte black does actually look really good. But let's see if we can actually go ahead and make it like a gunmetal gray. Um, I'm not sure. We'll try this out and see how this will look. But I do definitely want to have that metallic in the wheels. I think it'll offset the paint not having metallic in it. So let's go ahead and do our base color, a little bit of a darker color. And then we can come over here into our highlights and then lower that down, make it like a nice gunmetal. Ooh, that right there looks phenomenal. I love, I love the way the Civic looks now. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Wow, that's, oh, I'm in love with the Civic. Maybe I should build one of these in real life. I think that'll be pretty interesting. Let's do a little bit of tint on there. You know, I'm not a fan of like limo tint, but just a little bit in there, just kind of make it look a little bit better. But wow, look at that. So let's go ahead and take this car for a drive with the wheel and then we'll drive it around, see what suspension tuning we need to do and go from there. So now that we're outside, we can actually see this color in the daylight. And I don't typically put green on my cars, but I think it works for the Civic. And then paired with the yellow brake calipers and the gunmetal gray TE37s, I just think it really works and does look good. So let's go ahead and set off here and see how this all wheel drive swapped Civic does actually feel. So right off the bat, I'm noticing we didn't upgrade the transmission, but this feels very much like it's an in and out type of clutch. Like there's no in between to keep it smooth. Um, so it's a little hard to drive it here kind of smooth, but we'll see how it feels. I can already tell that this thing is going to feel great when we're actually beating on it. So let's see the interior on here. Now the Type R interior is just like pretty timeless. I mean, it is kind of bland, but I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm noticing we already have a little bit of understeer. So we're going to have to try out some things to you know fix that in terms of tuning. But let's go ahead and feel, okay, so some rev matching here feels pretty good. Um, but I think where this car is really going to shine is going to be on a curvy road because while, yes, it is all-wheel drive, so, okay, <laughs> now we're going off in the edge. But while it is all-wheel drive swapped, it will be able to accelerate in a straight line super aggressively. And then also we can handle it pretty well through the corners. The downshifts feel so crisp in this car. So now let's take it onto our mountain road, which is literally my favorite road in the game. So I'm gonna start off fairly easy on it just to get a feel for the car. But oh man, this thing is pretty rowdy <laughs> right off the bat. Like I'm actually really liking this. So it's got the power, it's such a lightweight car. And then it actually has the, you know, the power, the, the geometry and the suspension, everything just works, right? So we'll have to adjust definitely our camber because I'm feeling it's not necessarily perfect for what I wanna do with it. Although it does feel fine for being the factory settings, but wow, this thing is, this thing has so much grip. Like it's just, it's just throwing out the corners. Like it's nothing, like it's just going through them. So for our tires, let's go ahead and adjust our PSI. So I wanna boost it up to 32 in the front. I think that'll be good. And then for our gearing, we did it to that. And then camber, I think I wanna add less camber. I'm not too sure if this is exactly what I want, but we'll just see how it feels. We may even end up adding more, but I think we'll do negative 1.3 in the front and then negative 0.8 in the rear. It has a lot of grip. And I think that mostly is due to the fact of it being such a small, lightweight car. Like, oh my, just going through the corners here. Like, it just has so much grip. Like, and look, I'm full throttle. Okay, now I'm going off-road here. But, oh wow, this thing is just a lot of grip. Although, you do have to learn this car because it is a lot of power in such a small car. So, like, yeah, like right there, like, I'm kind of struggling to keep it, you know, perfectly in line. But you just have to, you know, manage it with the throttle. Because what I'm noticing here is the car for being so lightweight, you can steer it with the throttle a lot. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically by giving more input into the throttle, it's gonna understeer more. And then by giving less input, it's actually gonna oversteer more essentially. But it's just such a raw driving car. I mean, it is an older type R, so it's gonna have that raw driving characteristic. definitely has a learning curve though because i'm finding that just being such a lightweight car it's being tossed around so easily so you just really have to know what you're doing here um, but let me go ahead and stop talking for a little bit and i'll let you guys just listen to the car because it actually sounds really good
This thing just is so much fun to drive. I definitely recommend anyone try out the Type R, especially this generation of it. I think it's a phenomenal car and I would totally love to own one in real life. I think it's just so much fun to just rip it through the mountains. Um, but other than that, if you did enjoy the video and you want to see many more just like it, please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll have a whole lot of other customization videos on the channel as well as a bunch of other cool Forza content. So please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.